There's a joke in physics that a cow is, at first approximation, a sphere. I mean, it's a three-dimensional object, it has depth, width and height, and it's got no sharp edges, so it's kind of accurate. But the main reason a cow is a sphere, to a physicist, is because a sphere is a really simple shape. Every point on its surface is the same distance away from its centre. You can describe it with one simple equation. And while the world isn't itself simple, if we pretend it is, we can learn so much about it. That's because making approximations about the natural world is how physicists are able to describe it using equations. Trying to describe an object like a cow or a spaceship exactly, accounting for every last tail and ear and docking port, would result in equations that were the length of an entire page and would take forever to solve, or maybe even be impossible to solve. And equations that can't be solved aren't very useful. So we look for corners to cut. As a physicist, you're trained to look for approximations, asking what information can we ignore about something that allows us to model it while still capturing the big picture. So a physicist will strip away all details and, at least to begin with, describe a cow as a sphere. By doing that, we can learn so much from our equations. We can approximately learn how heat moves around inside the cow, for example. But if we're talking about something more fundamental, like approximating a helium atom by only considering how electrons electrostatically interact with the nucleus and not with each other in a quantized way, our equations can help us approximately understand how helium absorbs and emits light, something that informs how we study the universe and its stars. The complexity in all these systems is obviously still there, and physicists are aware of it. And in fact, a lot of science is about trying to add increasing complexity back to physical systems that were simplified to make them describable in the first place, adding the tail back to the cow, and small effects like how vegetation changes with temperature and climate models. But it's worth stressing that without saying a cow is a sphere, an imperfect, simple description, we would never have been in the position to describe it accurately at all. Emitting information is the only way our human brains are able to understand and gain deeper information about our world. I would never argue that there isn't beauty to be found in the details, but to me there's beauty in functional simplicity and in describing a cow as a sphere.